Hi there, my name is Chelsea Gerkink, and I'd like to present to you today a 10-minute video on a common phenomenon we observe in blood bank testing known as mixed field. At the end of this presentation, I hope you will be able to recognize visual patterns and explain potential sources and causes of mixed field reactivity. Just a little about myself. I currently work in an immunohematology reference lab in Chicago, Illinois, and I have about five years of experience working in the blood bank. I am a recent alumni of the Specialist in Blood Banking program at Rush University, and I'm eager to teach you about what to focus on in your studies. So a lot of people ask me, what do we do in the blood bank? This is definitely a tough question to answer in one sentence, but in a general sense, I would say that we perform testing and characterize a patient and or donor's red cells based upon the observed reactivity. We then use this testing to ultimately provide safe, compatible, high-quality, potent, and pure blood products for transfusion. As an example, I take one drop of anti-A reagent with one drop of patient red cells. A patient has a history of being group A. The drops are added to a test tube and spun in a centrifuge. I expect to get a certain type of reaction. Do you know what the reaction would be? The short video in this panel demonstrates the scenario I just described, resulting in a 4 plus red cell agglutinin, which is considered to be a positive reaction. The technologist should expect the reaction to be positive, and the technologist will deduce that the patient is most likely group A, since there is also a, a history. However, more testing is of course warranted to confirm the blood type. A blood bank technologist will encounter smaller groups of patients who will display unique reactivity during testing. Mixed field is an example of a unique type of reactivity that will involve acute observation and relevant patient history to identify. Mixed field is a type of agglutination pattern in which clumps of cells exist amid a sea of free cells. The schematic in this slide at the bottom is a basic illustration behind the mixed field concept. So let's go back to Immuno 101. When IgG antibody is added to a test system, the reagent has the propensity to sensitize to its intended target antigen. In this example, the IgG molecule targets pink cells and not white. The colors represent the target antigen. In theory, a homogeneous sample of red cells from a single patient should either react positively or negatively, but not both. During testing, mixed field indicates that there is more than one population of red blood cells present in a sample. Most often, this occurs in patients who are recently transfused. To begin our discussion, let's start with a positive reaction. The video in this slide represents a reaction that is considered 4 plus in strength on a scale of 1 to 4. A 4 plus pattern is one in which one solid agglutinin appears behind a clear background. Next is the negative reaction. When the test tube is spun in a centrifuge, cells meet at the bottom of the test tube. This is referred to as the cell button. If the cells agglutinate, the reaction is considered to be positive, and a negative reaction is one in which no agglutinin is present. A tail-like visual pattern where cells freely float off the cell button is a characteristic example of a negative reaction. The video in this slide is our mixed field visual interpretation. Take note that this is considered to be a reaction with a strong mixed field presence. In other words, perhaps this patient has been transfused a few days ago or even a few hours ago. 
Complete red cell clearance occurs in our bodies at approximately three months. When a mixed field reaction is due to a recent transfusion, the mixed field presence should theoretically dissipate over time and clear after three months if the patient does not require additional transfusion. Think back to the original schematic previously mentioned. Two red blood cell populations are present in the sample. IgG becomes sensitized to red cells of one population but not the other. The graded reaction remains 4 plus and the mixed field is denoted as MF. Let's talk about subtle mixed field presence. This type of mixed field is more challenging and takes experience to identify, so don't be afraid to ask a neighbor if you might suspect mixed field, but you're not sure. A subtle mixed field presence can be observed during the initial stage of agitation, but may go away. For comparison, the video on the right has no mixed field present. The video on the left has subtle mixed field. As an example of when this may occur is a patient who has been transfused several weeks ago and therefore patient cells predominate while donor cells are minimal. Several serological testing methodologies exist in blood banking. Gel, test tube, and solid phase are predominant in most blood banks. The previous slides in the presentation have demonstrated test tube typing. Mixed field presence can also be observed in gel typing. The card in the slide at the top left of the screen demonstrates a mixed field presence where free floating cells settle at the bottom during centrifugation of the gel card and positive cells are banned at the top of the card. The result is denoted as mixed field, MF, just like our previous, but without a graded reaction. In the last part of this discussion, I'd like to review why mixed field is important to identify and also review some higher level concepts for those in pursuit of the SBB. For one, mixed field covers a broad range of concepts that we encounter in blood banking and is therefore a great testing measure for questions on exams. But also, and more importantly, the presence of mixed field alone indicates that the patient has an etiology in which two red blood cell populations are most likely present. The testing that is performed, especially in the reference lab setting, is greatly impacted by the patient history of transfusion of allogeneic red blood cells. Some topics that I urge you to consider, especially within the interest of being an SBB student, is to review the topics and links below and how mixed field is relevant to these terms. These terms include chimerism, ABO discrepancy as it relates to transfusion, hematopoietic progenitor cell transplantation, and ABO subgroups, blood typing discrepancies, antibody investigation of SDA, and polyagglutination. Thank you for taking the time to learn about this topic. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to email me at the information provided in this slide.